We're joined by Surface CVP Robin Seiler for an inside look at the design and ethos of Surface devices and how they're working to build the best experience of Microsoft 365 productivity experiences and the most trusted and manageable devices for the enterprise. Everybody, please join me in welcoming Robin Seiler from the Surface team. Welcome. Thanks. It's great to be here. So really excited to have you on the show, especially because your team's really focused on making the Surface the best device for business. And most everyone here, I think, including myself, is in IT. And we work uh, with hardware and are also tech enthusiasts ourselves. And you bring the best of both worlds together with IT and all the hardware. I'm a tech enthusiast as well. I've always been curious about technology and how people use it and how it affects their lives. I represent a team of people back in Redmond, and that team is so passionate about the products that they build and the customers they build them for. We work with IT organizations every day to understand your feedback, and hopefully you see that in the products and the experiences that we build. All right, so why don't you tell us how you got started in Surface? That was a long time ago. I joined the team nine years ago, and at that time it was a secret even within Microsoft. When we first announced Surface seven years ago, it was an amazing moment. And with that moment, we created a category, the two-in-one. And we applied our unique point of view as a productivity company to building hardware. Since then, we've gone from a single device to an entire portfolio designed to meet a very diverse set of needs. Our goal is to build hardware so that it works seamlessly with software and services. Our push for innovation is not rooted in what we can do with the technology, but what you can do with it. Right, so this fall really started out with a bang. Just an amazing lineup of products and announcements. We had some really great updates to both current products, as well as brand new devices like Surface Pro X, to the upcoming Surface Neo, and also Surface Duo. There was really a lot packed in there. There was a lot, it was a big day. We announced five new products shipping this holiday including a powerful new 15-inch Surface laptop, an expansion of our Pro line with Pro X, and adding to our audio lineup, we released the new Surface earbuds. We also gave an overview of two exciting foldable products available next holiday with Neo and Duo. You know, some people look at the breadth of what we're offering, and they ask, why do you need so many products? But it's actually your feedback that helps us define what to build. Many of you have identified personas in your companies, different types of people with different needs. And you need to keep each one of those different people happy. Like the salesperson who's always on the go, that person probably wants a pro or a pro X. And the marketing person who needs a large screen of studio to get their work done. Or the office worker who writes those really long emails and loves their Surface laptop. I don't know if you know, but the Surface laptop has the highest customer satisfaction of any device in its category. And that goes a long way with your internal customers. At the same time, it also means we have to be very thoughtful about introducing change. It's really good that you mentioned that, because some of the new products, like the Pro, for example, the laptop, on the outside, they look fairly comparable with previous generations, but there's a lot of innovation on the inside, right? That's right. Both of them have an Intel 10th Gen Core mobile processor making them twice as fast. And Laptop is now the first Surface device offering over 32 gigs of RAM. And the performance always matters, right? Yeah. But we also know there's a lot more than performance that we have to consider. One of the things that we constantly think about is what technology should we invest in? There are so many new trends in the market, and we try to apply a filter of keeping a very high bar on what matters to you and then investing in additional areas for our customers. Across the portfolio, we look at three core principles. First, excel in what matters most. This is the display. This is the performance, the battery, great typing. And with every single device we ship, we look for how we can improve those fundamentals. One example is bringing fast charging to the portfolio, bringing what you love from your phone, which is the ability to plug it in and immediately recharge. So Surface devices now get almost to a full charge in about an hour. 
So speaking of fundamentals, another example I think would probably be the keyboard and trackpad on these devices. Yes, we always love to talk about key pitch and key travel. And the fact is, if you have a device that has a poor keyboard, you notice. If your neighbor has a device that has a poor keyboard, you notice that too. Nobody really wants to type on it. That's why it's a fundamental. The second principle that we use is natural user interactions. People want devices that adapt to the way that they work. For example, 10-point touch across all of our displays, fluid inking with a pen, and simple and secure login with Windows Hello on every single device. And one thing that's often overlooked, I think, especially in compact devices, is the voice capture part and also audio playback. What are we doing there? Yeah, voice is critical for natural user interaction. There's very little things that are faster than that. And to support that strategy across every device we just announced, we implemented studio mics, which are dual mics that are aimed towards your mouth to reduce the background noise, which means the signal that we get into the device is as pure as possible. You use that for a Teams call, but we're also collaborating with Office, and they're continuing to evolve Office applications to use natural voice. For example, you can do comments in Word. You can also do uh, live, live captioning and translation in PowerPoint. And these are all really great capabilities for any organization, any user. But what have you done to make Surface better for our device admins and all the IT pros with us today? Yes, yeah, so this speaks to the third principle. And you know, one of the things that we learned from the very first Surface Hub that we shipped is that if you focus entirely on the user and don't give the right capabilities to IT, adoption is very hard in a company. For example, we know repairability is a top need. And with some of our products, we've started including removable SSDs. For example, with the Pro X, the removable SSD door is right beneath the kickstand where you put in your SIM. <laughs> It's pretty cool. All right, so we've done quite a bit in terms of the IT pro side of things. Now, we've also made sure that uh, we've got a lot of compatibility with existing technology. But with Surface Pro uh, and Surface Laptop, Surface Pro X, we've also done a lot of work in terms of the, the bus th itself with USB-C 3.1. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but we've actually got the ability to run two 4K displays at 60 hertz from a single cable using 3.1. And you mentioned, no, you can clap. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> uh, but you mentioned uh, also that um, these are also using the same locations around DisplayPort so that all their accessories continue to work. And you also showed repairability. Why don't we dig a little bit deeper into what we can do there? Sure. Um, so I showed you the removable SSD on the Surface Pro X. With the Surface Laptop, we took it a little bit further. You know, we love the design of our laptop product because it's seamless and it's beautiful. But when you add repairability, typically what it means is you have to create seams and visible screws. You add weight and thickness. We did not want to do that to this product. And so what we did is you are able to, with the proper training from Microsoft, remove the four feet. There's screws hidden underneath the feet. And then once you do that, you can simply remove the top, and you have access to the SSD. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we, we love that one. <laughs> so it's, it's an awesome device. It's also serviceable. But what was the thinking when we think about Surface Pro X, our brand new addition to the Surface Pro line? Whenever we enter a category, our intent is to ground on what the customer wants, as well as to drive innovation. And when we launch Surface Pro, there was a set of customers hungry for a new way to work. Now two-in-ones are mainstream. And those tech-savvy customers are looking for what's next, which is a more modern device experience that's always connected. Surface Pro X delivers leading-edge productivity. You'll see the screen is just beautiful. 33% thinner bezels basically gives you a 13-inch display and a 12-inch chassis. And the keyboard includes pen docking and charging for the slim pen, so you'll never lose your pen again. This is a game changer. And it's powered by the Microsoft SQ1 processor, which has the fastest CPU and most powerful GPU in its class. 
Right, and one of the, the power management design, especially with ARM chips for me, it's personally fascinating. They're using asymmetrical cores, so that means the Microsoft SQ1, in that case it's an octa-core processor, it means that performance uh, optimized cryo cores essentially allow for Windows to balance between performance cores and also energy efficient cores. Uh, for example, when it's in low power states, it also means, in our case with the SQ1, we've got a three gigahertz processor that's been optimized for Win32 compiled apps, and it's one of our best performing graphics experiences with up to 2.1 teraflops of graphics performance, which basically doubles the performance of comparable devices. And also as an ARM-based device, by the way, it can still run two 4K monitors at 60 hertz from a single cable, so that also works even though this is an ARM-based device, so really cool stuff there. Super impressive. And we really designed Surface Pro X with mobility in mind. It provides laptop-level performance, but has powerful built-in LTE Advanced Pro. And that can use an eSIM or a nano SIM, so you don't have to worry about connecting to the internet, and you don't have to worry about the security of public Wi-Fi networks because you're using LTE from your trusted provider. And it's easy for IT to manage eSIM configurations. The other advantage that we love is how quickly the Pro X resumes from sleep and connected standby with instant on. Right, so what, go ahead. <laughs> Everybody's loving that. It is good and instant on on the resume. All right, so why don't we switch gears though and talk about device management and IT because we often talk about Surface being the best of Microsoft, but it has to translate into what people here are doing every single day managing these devices. So how do things get better? So we build products as a company. If you think about it, hardware is just a way to hold software in your hand. So we have to build our devices together with that software. That way, both hardware and software get better together. I was visiting a customer, and they explained how they had to drill out the cameras of a Hub V1 for security reasons, to make sure no individual could ever turn them on when there was confidential material present. Right, and I'm ashamed to mention this because when I used to work in IT, I actually had to epoxy fill USB-A <laughs> ports. Sometimes I'd even do the, um, the different keyboard and mouse ports as well, depending on the device. But these are things that you shouldn't have to do, right? I mean, this is, this is hopefully the exception to the rule. Yes, unfortunately, it seems to happen quite a lot. <laughs> so having clear control of your hardware is really important. With Surface Pro 4, we started developing open source UEFI. We brought our management of UEFI in-house with Surface. It's called Project Moo. It's now open sourced, which gives you greater security and control for cross-surface devices. You can use Surface Enterprise Management Mode, SEMM, to use with your configuration manager. And what we've recently announced is Intune can manage the Surface UEFI. So we can take advantage of cloud-based device management all of the way down to the hardware level. So you can put away your epoxy. I think you can manage the hardware directly. <laughs> what this also means is you can change the hardware configuration for all of your Surface devices without forcing a reboot. So systems remain online even as you change those settings. And that's really a big impact on security. You know, all the virtualization-based security, by the way, in Windows 10, things like Device Guard, App Guard, Secure Boot, Credential Guard, all these things are virtualization-based security that rely on UEFI or UFI, however you prefer to say it. We actually can show a couple of new controls uh, that are rolling out. So I'm going to actually go into Intune here because we've actually got a couple of updates. And here we can see a, a brand new capability called DFCI, Device Firmware Configuration Interface. So what I'm going to do here is actually uh, configure that. And one of the really cool things that we can do, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it, is we can actually configure uh, things like whether or not we want our cameras to be on, we can configure whether or not we want uh, microphones, speakers, you know, the external media, USB drives, the things that we were epoxying earlier. And the nice thing is, once I've actually configured this, it doesn't even show up in Device Manager. You can't see them. They're basically not powering on on the, on the motherboard itself. So they are gone from the device effectively, and you have full control. That's so powerful. You know, we've also partnered with the Windows Autopilot team, and Surface was the first Autopilot device shipped. So our products are designed and built for the people that use them. Your input is important to how we do that and how we think about our future, both for software and for hardware that we build. Thank you so much for having me here today. I hope you enjoy the products that we've announced. 
Thank you for your time. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. And I know the team has really done a lot of work with IT Pro tools and recommendations. And I want to actually display a couple of things to check out. So aka.ms is your home, or slash Surface IT, is your home for all IT Pro resources to manage Surface devices. And by the way, if you haven't yet, uh, Microsoft Mechanics can be found at microsoft.com slash mechanics. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. That's all the time we have. Goodbye for now.